Hey guys, it's Victoria. So I want you to imagine this. You are a brilliant executive and you are being recruited by some fancy new powerhouse company in the United States as an analyst to solve all their life's problems. So it's your first day on the job and your new boss hands you this packet and says to you, do you want to try to figure them out? Now your English is very, very good, but your brain is saying, what? Do you wanna try to figure them out? Do you wanna try to figure them out? That doesn't sound like anything you've ever seen in one of your textbooks. Have you guys ever had this problem? If so, you are gonna love today's video because it is all about learning to listen to how Americans actually speak. And no, it is not how Americans actually write. This, in fact, is a really big source of frustration for so many of my clients because not only is English inherently not phonetic, so if you're seeing a single word, you won't necessarily know how that word is pronounced just by looking at the letters. But the other part of American English that makes it so tricky is that even if you know how a specific individual word is said, once you put that word into a meaningful sentence, everything changes. And that is really tricky. But the reason that it changes is because suddenly we're linking and we're reducing and we're stressing. We're also using variables like pitch and loudness and length. So there are so, so many things to think about. So to help you guys with this problem, I have come up with an exercise that I have called the ATLAS analysis. So ATLAS stands for American Transcription, Linking, and Stress, because those are all things you need to be thinking about and to be aware of in order to understand really fast, natural American English speech. So what I'm gonna do with you guys is I'm gonna read you several different phrases. But how I'm gonna read them to you is syllable by syllable by syllable. And I'm gonna be producing the words or the sounds in such a way that they're not gonna be hyper articulate. They are not gonna be what you would find if you were to look them up in the dictionary. They are gonna be real life pronunciations, reductions, all that fun stuff. And I will tell you guys where the stress goes in my phrase. And I want you to figure out what phrase I'm saying. So the kind of general umbrella topic for today's exercise is small talk. So basically little phrases you can use in many different contexts. And in the future, I'm going to be making other topics, for example, entertainment, socializing, business. So if you're interested in any of those, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and YouTube will keep you posted as to when that happens. All right, you guys, so we are gonna be analyzing 12 different phrases, expressions, whatever you wanna call them, syllable by syllable. So here we go. Number one is good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, let's put the stress on noon. Then we get good afternoon. Good afternoon, you guys. I hope you're doing well. Number two, we have ha war you. Ha war you. Let's put the stress on syllable number two, which is war. Then we're gonna get how are you? Hey, how are you? Do you see what I'm doing, guys? I'm not reading how are you. I'm reading them syllable by syllable and linking changes my word boundaries. This is really, really important. Number three, we have wa, li, the, ten. Wa, li, the, ten. Let's put our winner on ten. We'll leave it ten. We'll leave at 10. So I'm saying, we're gonna leave at 10 o'clock. We'll leave at 10. Next up we have, 
have a great time. Have a great time. Now let's put the winning syllable on time and we'll get have a great time. I hope you have a great time tonight. Number five, we have it's the nages. It's the nages. It's the nages. Now let's put our winning syllable on a. What do we get? It's the nages. So you run into someone you haven't seen in years, you can say, oh my gosh, it's been ages since I've seen you last. Next up we have, what's new? What's new? What's new? Let's put our winning stress on the last syllable and then we're gonna get, what's new? Hey, what's new? How's it going? Okay, next up we have ha, wa, via, bin. Ha, wa, via, bin. Ha, wa, via, bin. Let's put our winning stress on bin. What will we get? How have you been? Hey, long time. How have you been? Next up we have say mold. Say mold. Gross. So let's put our stress on mold. Say mold. Say mold. You can say that if someone says, hey, what's been going on? And you can say, eh, not much. Say mold. Say mold. Next one we have k nai ka ler k nai ka ler k nai ka ler let's put our winning stress on ka we're going to get can i call her can i call her your friend just got back from vacation and you say to your other friend oh can i call her or do you think she's busy can I call her? Next one we have that sa me zing. That sa me zing. That sa me zing. Let's put our stress on may. What do we get? That's amazing. That's amazing. You did an awesome job. That's amazing. Next one we have it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's put the winning stress on been. What do we get? It's been a while. Wow, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in ages. It's been a while. Next one last one we have ha wa zit ha wa zit let's put our stress on wa how was it hey how was it did you have a nice vacation how was it well, that's that you guys. I really hope that you found this exercise helpful and I hope that it was helpful for working on your listening skills in English. If you have any friends or family members that you think would also like this kind of a training exercise, then please send it their way. And if there are any phrases that you find tricky in American English, then please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.